masaya nating ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapaglikas natin tuwiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call for minor sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free from the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banish them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and afflicted when he was no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, O leader of the house of Israel, giver the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ was, came, came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with the child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, 
Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son and he named him Jesus. May their friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. San Jose, siya ang tema ng ating ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. Si San Jose, isang taong mabuti, matuwid, matino, matapat. Kaya po mga kapatid, nitong ating ibanghelyo ang nais iparating sa ating lahat naway maging katulad tayo ni San Jose. Mabuti, matuwid, matino, matapat. Isang magandang paalala sa atin lahat, bahagi ng ating paghahanda itong panahon ng Kapaskuhan. Marahil ito yung tamang panahon na kung saan ay maaari nating tignan ang ating pamumuhay sa taong 2021. Kumusta ba ang aking buhay? Kumusta ba ang aking mga pananalita? Kumusta ba ang aking mga naging desisyon? Kumusta ba ang aking naging direksyon sa taong ito? Kaya nga naman, magandang paalala sa atin yung naging buhay at naging prinsipyo ni San Jose, ang pagiging matapat. Paano nga ba nananatili ang kanyang katapatan? Kaya kung titignan natin, ang daming pinagdaanan ni San Jose. Una pa lang, kwento sa ating Ibanghelyo, napakasakit kay San Jose, hindi madali kay San Jose. Tunay nga namang isang pagsubok sa kanya, ang bigla na lang niyang malaman na ang si Maria ay nagdadalang tao. Kaya na-imagine ko, kaya kita mo naman, kahit sa kanyang pagtulog, naisip niyang iwan, pagtaksilan si Maria. At alam mo natin ito, nagtutuloy-tuloy pa ang mga pagsubok na kanyang naranasan. Bagkos sa gitna ng mga paghihirap na ito, ay nananatiling matuwid, matino at matapat si San Jose. Hindi po siya nagpapatinag sa mga pagsubok. Kaya magandang paalala, sabi ko nga po, eh, isang magandang modelo sa ating buhay. Alam ko yung pagsubok, hindi ho naiiba sa atin yan. Lahat tayo dumadaan sa pagsubok. Kasi lalong-lalo na kapag ang pagsubok ay may kasamang emosyon, sakit, sinaktan ka, iniwan ka, pinabayaan ka. Kasama yan dito yan eh. Sana maging katulad tayo, singtibay ni San Jose, nananatili pa rin matuwid sa prinsipyo, nagpakatino, nananatiling mabuti, matapat sa kanyang pangako. Paano nga ba nananatili ang kanyang pagiging matapat? Malinaw na malinaw mga kapatid, si San Jose ay nananatili rin bukas sa Espiritu Santo. Ito yung nakailangan natin ngayon. Marahil marami tayong naririnig ng mga kwento, lalong-lalong na sa mga kabataan, na nag-give up. Dumaan sa depresyon, dumaan, tila bagang wala ng pag-asa ang buhay. Pero kita nyo ka sa Nose, sabi ko nga po kanina, tuloy-tuloy ang kanyang pangapagsubo. Dumating pa sa eksena na kinala, kailangan niyang umalis sa isang bayan, pumunta sa isang bayan na wala siyang kakilala. Na-imagine mo na lang yung sakit, lungkot, nag-iisa, wala kang kakilala. At hindi rin madali kaysa nung siya makita ang sanggol na alam niya, siya ang magliligtas sa atin at makita mismo sa sabsaban. Napakasakit kaysa nung siya yun. Pero hindi siya nagpatinag. 
sapagkat nananatili siyang bukas sa Espiritu Santo. Ito ang ating panalangin sa Paskong ito. Marahil ay nababasa natin sa balita ngayon ang ating mga kababayan sa Visayas. Nakakaawa tignan. Sabi nga na isang paring nabasa ko sa isang mensahe, ito yung Paskong walang laman ang Belen. Sapagat ang lahat na kanilang pinaghandaan ay tumilapon dahil sa bagyo. Walang ilaw, wala lahat. Pero sana mga kapatid, manalangin tayo si Bayaya ng Espiritu Santo. Nang sa gayon, mas mangingibabaw ang ating pag-asa. Uusbong ang kabutihan at katulad sa naging buhay ni San Jose, kusang uusbong din ang katapatan. Stand. In union with St. Joseph, the man of great faith, let us make our prayers together as God's family to the true Father of all, and we shall say, Father of all, bless us. Father of all, bless us, that the Pope, bishops, priests, and consecrated men may, like St. Joseph, mirror God's love with their fatherly care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That government officials, like St. Joseph, may be sensitive in discerning of God's plan as it unfolds in the day-to-day -day events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That fathers may show special love and concern for their families through their diligence in edifying life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That those who are undergoing crisis in their personal and family life may have the hope and faith of Saint Joseph, let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That through the intercession of Saint Joseph, the dying may find consolation in their last hours, let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. Now in silence, we offer to God all our personal intentions. O Lord, help us to be united as one family under your fatherhood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. 
For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and the resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, San Antonio de Padua, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Them. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord. And let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. 
Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.